So most of us start to feel a little bit sluggish around midday, but the secret to staying energized might be inside your lunchbox. Personal chef and cooking instructor Sherry Swanson is here to show us an easy to make salad that packs a powerful energy punch. I like the way that sounds. Yes. Right? We're going to get a lot of fresh veggies here. It's springtime. Exactly. Salads are back in the picture. Right, right. <laughs> and you're going to show us how to do it. Yes, today we're going to do a grain salad, so we're going to use a little bit of barley. But I like to tell people you can mix it up. You know, this is just a technique. So we're using barley today, but if you're looking for something gluten free, you could use uh, quinoa. Okay. Um, Whatever, whatever grains you Lots like. Lots of variations, you use, right? Yeah, okay. Exactly. Um, so we're going to start with our vinaigrette, and we're going to use a little bit of sherry vinegar. I've got a little bit of mustard in here, and my secret ingredient is a little bit of orange juice concentrate. Oh, you're sharing the secret exactly. ingredient with yes. us. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to start with that. That's going to give us some a nice, um, deep, rich um, orange flavor, and a little bit of sweetness and acid at the same time. Some shallots and some garlic, which always makes things delicious. And then a little bit of orange zest. Oh, okay. So again, that'll freshen things up because that gives you that orange flavor without the acid from the juice. So a little bit of that. And then, of course, olive oil. It's starting to smell like summer over here. Exactly. <laughs> yes. This is great. How are uh, the cooking classes going? They're going great. I'm doing cooking classes both at Jones Family Farm in Shelton and at Middlebury Consignment in Middlebury. And we're having a blast, well, especially now that spring is around the corner. I'm channeling my inner spring today because <laughs> I've, brought, I've brought asparagus. There you go. That's allowed. So <laughs> it's almost time. All right. Oh, so, that's a nice color too, right? Isn't it? Yeah. And it smells bright and fresh. We also have some fresh herbs. I'm using parsley and basil, but you could throw cilantro in there if you like cilantro. But I think of summer and spring when I think of basil. So it's that's true. Why that's I why I said the same thing. <laughs> well, that looks great. Okay. So here's our cooked barley. So you could actually use leftover rice or any kind of grain that you have in the refrigerator because you want it to be cold. Got it. And so we'll just add our vinaigrette to that and then add our other ingredients. We're going to use a little bit of roasted asparagus because May is coming and that's when asparagus is in season so I like to use a lot of it. Okay. But this could have been the, you know, when I make vegetables at night for dinner I always make extra. Okay. Oh, and leftovers. I, perfect. Exactly. Leftovers. I'm all about leftovers and make ahead meals so I like this that. is perfect for both. So I roasted the asparagus and with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. And that doesn't take too long to do, right? No, it's really simple, it's fast. It's about 10 minutes at 4.25. Okay. Easy. And then I have some sweet potatoes, but these could be, this could be butternut squash. You want something a little bit sweet and you wanna have some nice colors in there. All right. And then I have some hazelnuts. That you actually as toasted well. over here. I exactly. saw you pulling them out of the oven. Yeah, so what you do is if they have the skins on them, you put them in the oven for just a few minutes. That does two things. One, it toasts them so that they taste delicious. And two, then you just rub them in a towel and the skins come off. Oh, what a great tip. So really easy. Wow. And then you just chop them up and put in your salad. I like that. If you wanted a, nut, a non nut alternative, you sure. could use pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds, or you could use any nut that you like. Wow, this is easy. <laughs> exactly. And then a little bit of lemon zest as well as the orange zest. And again, I feel like this is perfect for a full meal, too, though. Exactly. Right? You could eat it for a meal. You could put uh, a piece of fish on top of it, it would be delicious. Or um, just eat it the next day for your salad. You, what I like to do is um, after dinner, take all of my leftovers and throw them together as some sort of a grain salad, whatever I have, and then portion it up when I put it in the refrigerator into little individual containers. Oh, that's great. Containers. You just so grab it ready. throughout the week. Exactly. Not exactly. Because I'm cooking so much for work that... <laughs> you Probably the last thing you want to do is come home and cook for your family. <laughs> exactly. So I'm looking for something fast because when I get home, I'm hungry. That makes sense. And uh, this, is, this is a great alternative. This way you're not um, eating things that aren't good for you. And it's delicious. All right. And Sounds full great. full of vitamins. Well, we'll have the recipe over in WTNH.com. All you have to do is click on style. Sherry, thanks so much for lunch. We're going to dig in at the end. Thanks.